hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl rosemary back again with another awesome video if you're new here hi welcome please don't forget to subscribe to join the fam and if you're returning welcome back in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my frontal wigs from bleaching the knots tinting the lace to suit my client's skin tone and plucking the front up it came pre-plucked though but i'm still going to go in and pluck it a bit so without further ado let's just start this video as you can see here i'm already bleaching the knots i'm going to make a proper video to show you guys how i bleach my knots and tint my lace so this is the bleached and tinted lace i'm going to be using the 21 inch canvas head because that's the size of my client's head and then i'm going to be using the mesh dome cap you can use any other cap but this one is just fine by me so i'm going to be taking my measurement i'm going to transfer my measurement that i took of my client i'm still going to make a proper video of this whole measurement and transferring it thing so just watch what i do because i don't know how i'm going to explain it so i'm just transferring the measurement to the cap and that's what I'm doing right here. After that, I'm going to be using a sharpie to line my guidelines. Uh, I was supposed to place my frontal before um, lining this, but you're going to see me stopping on the way to lay my frontal first before i continue so it's better you use a sharpie either in silver or or gold color so that the um, lines will be visible for you so you, when you're sewing on your machine you're going to see the track very well so this is me plati placing the frontal um the net behind was way too much so i had to just trim it off a bit so that's what you're seeing me doing. After that, I'm going to be folding the frontal into two to get a middle part. Because this frontal didn't come with any pattern, so I'm going to be marking there with my sharpie to give it that middle line. Yeah, middle line. So after that, I'm going to be placing it on the cap. And I'm going to measure one inch from the cap. So the space you're going to be giving from the cap is one inch yeah that's what you see me doing so, yeah i just needed to get the way and the hair out of the way so you're measuring one inch because um the frontal does not have to start directly from your headline so the cap itself is more like your hairline then you're going to be measuring one inch so you can lay your frontal away from your hairline to avoid hair loss so that's what i'm doing and i'm going to try and check it to see if it's still that one inch that is what you see me doing yeah so you're going to turn to the back and pin it at the back also so your frontal does not move that's what you see me doing up next i'm going to also measure one inch from the side too so that's what you're seeing me trying to do I'm going to measure one inch from this side also and pin down the cap the frontal sorry and then i'm going to do the same for the other side so just watch me
make sure your frontal looks like this in front it shouldn't be straight if it's straight you got it all wrong it has to look like exactly like this like the shape of an m so here i'm going to start sewing down again i'm going to make a proper video of how to sew down your frontals and your closures using the needle and thread yeah so this is me just sewing down the frontal So we're going to take our sharpie and start making our guidelines again again you're supposed to know the number of bundles you have then you can start calculating how many guidelines you're supposed to make so ideally i think 10 12 guidelines highest 13 guidelines is is okay for you yeah this is me counting how many guidelines i have and we're ready to sew on our machine so this is me trying to start prepping my bundles for sewing so first off we're going to be doubling our weft again i'm going to make a proper video on how to double and triple your weft in the future definitely so this is me backtracking make sure you backtrack to lock your stitches so this is me doubling the weft before I start sewing on my calf. And this is what our weft looks like. So we're going to start sewing on our wig cap. We'll be placing it on the guidelines we made earlier. This is what you're seeing me doing. You're going to just follow the guidelines and you're using your zigzag stitch. I use the zigzag stitch to double the weft. So I'm going to also be showing you a video of that later, not today. So this is me sewing and don't forget to lock your stitch. Always backtrack and lock your stitches. So when you're doing sewing on the first track, you're going to cut off the weft and then you lock your stitch. So as you're sewing on each guideline, you're going to be cutting the wig sorry the hair because it's way much much easier to sew without the hair getting in your way so as you're sewing on each track you're going to be cutting off the excess um, hair so yeah this is me going on the second track and i'm going to continue like this until i finish sewing the bundles on the wig cap so you're just going to be watching me doing that there's no need for me to talk <laughs>
we are done with our wig we are going to be placing a band so we are going to be cutting out 9 inches it could be shorter but 9 inches is just okay for every head size not all every head size but almost every head size so always bond the edges to avoid it from losing and then you are going to be placing the, placing the band on the ear tab that's the edge of the lace above the head the cap so you're going to be using the zigzag stitch also to sew it down and you're going to cut don't forget to cut out your excess thread always cut out your excess thread then i'm going to be using my tail comb to pull out the hairs that got in the way of me sewing yeah it's nice and firm and yeah that is me pulling out the hair that got in the way while i was sewing so we're going to be sewing on the second part of the ear tab still using the zigzag stitch yeah we're all done and this is me cutting out all the excess thread inside the cap after that i'm going to be cutting out the excess cap on the lace area just the lace area so we can push back your lace so you can see what you're cutting and cut carefully be careful so you do not cut the lace so just watch what i'm doing yeah be careful not to cut the lace so this is me just cutting out the excess cap that is under the lace directly i'm going to cut that out so your lace can have and give that natural effect so yeah Up next, we are going to be plucking our frontal. Again, I didn't make a proper video of me plucking this frontal. So, I'm going to make a proper video and post to show you guys how I bleach and pluck my frontal. Yeah. So, you're going to wet your frontal and get plucking. So, just look at what I'm doing and maybe you'll learn it in or two before I post the other video you might learn it in or two it's just nothing serious it's just wetting the hair and removing the excess hairs in front of the frontal that's it